my beauties, welcome back. I am completely on a roll. I've been trying to record back-to-back -back videos and I've been trying to post every single day for the past two, three days. And so I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. So I was reading throughout your guys' comments yesterday from the June giveaway video and I was so hungry and craving so many sweets. It's not even funny. And while I was reading your guys' comments, I remembered how many like desserts and sweets I actually do enjoy. I love cheesecake, I love ice cream, I love like tiramisu, and I love jello and pudding. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was sitting there yesterday at night just reading throughout your guys' comments, and I literally was craving so much sugar. It's not even funny, but I kind of stay strong and I kind of just kept myself occupied just to not think about all that sugar. But thank you guys so so much for sharing your guys' cravings. I enjoyed it so so much. So thank you for participating in my giveaway video and this morning I decided to curl my hair I washed it once so it did maybe slightly get a little bit lighter but I feel like with time it's gonna get better and better and I did get blonde highlights so I feel like it's a little bit more frizzy than usual because it is a little bit dried out but I have been trying to condition it and so um, this is my little hairdo for today but today I just wanted to share with you guys a couple more things that I picked up at Sephora. These are actually like newer products that have came out and kind of caught my eye. So I really do feel like you guys enjoy me sharing like my Sephora purchases and kind of giving you guys my opinion on things. And I do try to give myself like a limit every time I purchase anything from Sephora because honestly you can just keep adding onto your cart and next thing you know it's like hundreds of dollars. So like I always try to kind of limit myself and give myself like a budget so I didn't spend over like hundred and twenty dollars on the things that I did pick up but there are really cool interesting different things that I picked up that are mainly new and so I really wanted to share them with you guys I have been testing a couple of these out so um, I just wanted to give you guys my like thoughts and opinions just in case you were thinking of picking a couple of these things up you guys can you know just see if it's worth it or not I am gonna start with the most interesting most intriguing thing I picked up at Sephora and it's this cellu cup and this is um, a little tiny plastic cup to reduce like cellulite on your thighs on your stomach on your arms and this little one in specific is actually like heat activated so it changes colors to white to indicate when you're done which is really kind of interesting and then it just says massage just five to ten minutes a day for three days a week for lasting results and this is what it looks like it's kind of just like a little tiny um, plastic pink cup it has a picture of like a before and after that it does actually work I tested it out once so far um, so I can't really say if it did much or not because this is something that you do like over time but this is what the cute little cup looks like it is pink and if you guys like hold it um, it does change color like with heat or like body heat so like the more you use it the more it's gonna get heated up and then it will indicate that you are done like if I just keep my finger on it and then take it off it kind of turns like a lighter pink and what you do is you kind of like oil your body or you put a little bit of lotion on and then you take this little cup and then you kind of squeeze it you put it on your skin and then you let go so it kind of acts like a little suction cup and then like without lotion you can't really do it because like it's not gonna go anywhere but if you put a little bit of like body oil and then try to do this it really does kind of seem like it's it's like a surface massage for your skin so I am definitely gonna keep using it um, I will have like the pricings on these products like listed somewhere on the screen for you guys and I will go ahead and put some links um, in the description down below if you guys are interested but I am really excited to see if this will actually work I do have some cellulite like on the back of my thighs and I feel like now with summer you know even though I have been kind of working out I still feel like I need like an extra you know like an extra thing to kind of just tighten my skin so I figured like this would be a great thing and I've seen this thing kind of float around on like Instagram and Facebook and so I figured like why not give it a try all right, the next thing I picked up is a new version of the Beauty Blender. This is like the Sapphire edition. And honestly, I'm not even exactly sure why I picked this up because I am so against spending like $20 for a face sponge. And I feel like you can find so many great ones at the drugstore. For example, the Eco Tools one, the little green one with the slanted side is absolutely amazing. And so, um, I don't know, it was just kind of tempting. It was sitting right there and it was kind of different. And I haven't used this one yet, so I can't really say if it's 
it's the same as the original beauty blender because I know some of the beauty blenders that come out in like different colors or different sizes are not the same exact texture as the original one but this one does seem super soft but I have not used it yet so I will probably update you guys in my next video after I kind of use it a couple times to see if it's um, like the same texture and if it performs the same way but I definitely do think you can buy like a perfect beauty blender dupe at the drugstore so for me it's kind of almost like a waste of money because I rather invest in like skincare or like eyeshadow palettes versus like just a little sponge you know now the next newer thing that I actually saw on the Sephora website that was in the like newer section is this um, makeup forever professional um, artist color pencils and these are supposed to be like a super multitasker so they have like literally a whole rainbow of colors and you can use them for your lips you can use them for your eyes you can use them for anything you want and I picked this one up in the shade 602 completely sepia sepia um, and it's what I have on my lips today I kind of just lined it and filled in my lip and this is the only thing I have on my lips today and honestly you guys the formula is perfect the formula is absolutely beautiful it's extremely creamy extremely like easy to use um, it's matte of a finish as you guys can see so it looks super flattering on your lips um, and I really like this shade because it's like your lips but better and so I definitely enjoy the formula I think makeup forever does really good liners um, Marc Jacobs does really good high-end liners in my opinion um, the only negative thing I will say about this is because um, this is like a regular pencil liner you do have to sharpen it and I tried to actually sharpen it this morning to kind of use it and get a sharper edge and the wood that it's made out of like I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see but it actually crumbled a little bit so it was kind of difficult to sharpen and it might be the fact that my sharpener isn't as sharp and it might be dull but um it didn't sharpen like really smoothly um so that's the only really negative thing I have to say about this but the formula in itself is absolutely beautiful and um if you're looking to try out like a new lip liner or like a new multitasker liner then I would definitely recommend this one and the last two things I picked up are from the brand Sol de Janeiro and um, these are newer I think I haven't seen this hand cream before I do really enjoy their shower gel it's one of my favorites it kind of smells like if you've never tried this set before it's kind of super sweet kind of reminds me of like pineapples and coconut and it kind of smells like vacation and I really do like the shower gel I feel like it's very hydrating for your body and so they have this Brazilian touch hand cream that they just came out with and I really do like it it's definitely not as thick as their bum bum cream because I do love their bum bum cream as well it's definitely a lighter formula than that but it smells it has the same scent so I do really enjoy it and then also they came out with this like little bum bum um, bath bomb which I have not tried yet but I am really excited to try out even though this one was like $10 I believe so I don't know if it's worth it for like a bath bomb I just got it just to try it out and kind of give you guys feedback on it but I feel like you can definitely get more affordable bath bombs that also like smell really good but it does say that it's packed with skin loving sea salt and acai so I will go ahead and test it out and let you guys know but is it worth the $10 I don't really think so no matter what it smells like I rather have bought you know like the bum bum cream or the actual shower gel but I guess we're just gonna have to wait and test it out all right, my beauties, so those are the few items I picked up. Um, I am definitely going to continue using this little cellulite cup because I do definitely feel like it has the potential to kind of even out your skin texture. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. Um, now, these two, the sponge and then the bath bomb, I don't think they were worth the money regardless of like if they're really amazing or not. But I have been really enjoying the hand cream, so I might repurchase that one. Even though, even with the hand cream, I have um, this other hand cream from the brand Dionis. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've talked about it before on my channel, and you can get them at Ulta for like two, three, four dollars. But they are also like extremely moisturizing, and I really do enjoy like their hand cream formula. So I would definitely advise you guys check those out. They have a variety of different scents, and they do definitely moisturize your hands without it being too like slimy or sticky. They have a perfect balance and 
formula so I do really enjoy them but that'd be it for today my only other question for you guys was um what kind of videos are you guys most interested in because I kind of have been thinking about this and like I really want to cater to you guys so let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos what kind of topics what kind of subjects do you guys want me to discuss talk about kind of make videos on let me know in the comments down below because I would love to you know hear you guys feedback so I can make and post videos that you guys enjoy watching but for today that'd be it so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week lots of love for me to you stay happy stay positive and I'll see you guys in my next video lots of love bye Mwah.